Hi, I'm Roger Hunter. I'm the program manager for NASA's Small Spacecraft Technology Program. What does the Small Spacecraft Technology Program do? We develop the next generation technologies that NASA will use on its future science and exploration missions, which will use small spacecraft. NASA has always been a forward-leaning and forward-thinking organization. But before we talk about those next generation small spacecraft technologies, let's talk about our history. This is PhoneSat, one of our very first small spacecraft. Very simple in design, and in fact, it used the inside of an Android phone for its processor and a measuring tape for its antenna. But we've gotten more sophisticated in the way that we build our small spacecraft now, and we started to look at lasers as a means of transmitting data from the spacecraft to the ground. This is optical communications and sensor demonstration two spacecraft that actually used a laser to send data and information from the spacecraft to the ground. We're getting better, and the scientists love that. As NASA continues its technology demonstrations for small spacecraft, we continue with ICERA, the Integrated Solar Array and Reflect Array. This particular spacecraft showed KA band communications for the first time from a very small spacecraft. And then we continue with a new mission called PTD, or Pathfinder Technology Demonstrator, a series of buses this size, half of each one reserved to test a new type of product, whether it's a communication system, a new propulsion system, or a new avionics system. And now we move on to yet another laser comm system. This one is called CLIC. There are two missions, CLIC A and CLIC BC. CLIC A is a risk reduction mission in which we show optical comm from another spacecraft to ground, but with CLIC BC, we show optical comm between two spacecraft. Now let's talk about the future. NASA's always been interested in green technologies and there's nothing greener than sunlight. This is the Advanced Composite Solar Cell System and when this launches and deploys on orbit, you will see 81 square meters of a new solar cell material which we can then use to move beyond low Earth orbit, out into sizzlinger space and beyond into planetary space. But we're working on more than just new propulsion technologies that use clean sunlight. We're working on technologies that will allow us to build and assemble large structures in space in the future. What you're seeing here is CPOD, the CubeSat for Proximity Operations and Docking. When these two are launched and they get on orbit, they will autonomously find each other and then do self-docking. Think of the promise of that. You can now demonstrate the technology that will allow you to build large structures and large apertures in space. NASA spacecraft technology is picking up the pace. The democratization of space now realizes that more and more countries are launching spacecraft. NASA is keeping up. We're also developing technologies for the future so that we can further our science exploration needs. We have to keep up the pace because everybody is participating in space now. Humankind has had a sustained presence in space for over 20 years with the International Space Station. Now the International Space Station, of course, operates in low Earth orbit, but we want to sustain our presence beyond low Earth orbit. We're going back to the moon. NASA is designing and developing Gateway, our new space station. It's going to operate in the orbit between the Earth and the moon called a near rectilinear halo orbit. Capstone is going to go there to prove that that orbit is as mathematically stable as we think it is. But we're not stopping there. We're going on to the moon. We're going to put boots on the moon again, and our science is going to ensure our future in space. To paraphrase the Martian, we're going to science the hell out of it. Small spacecraft are going to be part of that future. Small spacecraft are going to help realize the dreams and ambitions that we have. Our future is inextricably tied to space, and we are just beginning the adventure.